and they'll get you where you need to sit, okay? Okay. All right. It's going to be okay. Oh, I know it is. There was an incident that happened that uh, uh, completely changed uh, my life, but uh, I have learned to live with it. And up until this year, uh, through medication and everything, I've, I've lived a normal life. Do you remember March of this year and uh, what happened? Yes, sir, I sure do. <laughs> tell me Very little, well. Tell me a little bit about what happened. Uh, I had gotten a stomach virus and I couldn't eat or drink or anything. I couldn't take my medications. And uh, I don't get violent, I get angry. And what was your experience uh, at the crisis stabilization unit? I was treated like a human being instead of an animal. And uh, they work with me, I talk with them. Um, I was given my medications uh, that I need. But uh, the difference in the atmosphere and the attitude of the people were entirely different. And uh, for somebody that's suffering from bipolar, this would be the place to be at because like I say, they do treat you like a human being. They help you get on your medication and get back on your feet so you can get out there and back in civilization. Well, whenever you look at what we've done in Arkansas and to be able to establish a network of CSUs uh, that can uh, be combined with the training of law enforcement so they can identify mental health issues, get them diverted to a crisis stabilization unit. Uh, the goal was uh, to, first of all, get help to those that are suffering. I think it's difficult sometimes for people to understand that mental illness is not a criminal behavior. Um, and you cannot change the behavior unless you treat the illness. Collaboration uh, with our local community has been critical to the success of the Crisis Stabilization Unit and to all the, the multifaceted areas of Act 423 and the, the issues that are come about for the criminal justice system. We now know that up to a third of the individuals incarcerated in, in state prisons uh, have some sort of mental health issue. So it's so important to have the officers trained and to have the commitment by the law enforcement agencies to recognize and understand this so we can divert people so they never get introduced into the criminal justice system in the first place. That's where it starts with the uh, law enforcement trained officer and then to have these uh, stabilization units that can be short-term recovery, uh, that can get them back on the right path, uh, is uh, something that I am very, very hopeful will produce good results as we did see in the Richard King case.